If you've been teaching online for a while, your course site probably already includes a short bio and maybe even a video intro, which is great. But what if you're camera shy? Or what if that little two minute intro doesn't quite do you justice? Well, you might wanna check out Visify, which is sort of like a visual CV tool. It took less than 10 minutes for me to set up my Visify profile, and there's a lot of information here that can help students get to know me better. For example, they can see a map of all the places I've lived, and that includes my humble beginnings in Alabama and the semesters I spent studying in France and in Germany. Students can also see a visual representation of the things I like to tweet about, and they can see my career history, which is brought over automatically from LinkedIn. Another feature I really like is the card section. Visify lets you create cards with fun facts and interesting tidbits of information. So here I've already created one that has my superpower, which would be superhuman patience whenever I use public transit. You can also see I've created cards here to share things like my Myers-Briggs personality type and fun facts about my first job. When you go to create a new card, there are all sorts of other things you can share. You can show students which Star Trek captain is your favorite, tell them how much coffee you drink or what you'd like to see on your tombstone, or you can share one of your pet peeves so they know how to stay on your good side. Another feature I like is the ability to pull in photos from Instagram and Facebook. So here I've brought in a photo of my back porch in Chicago, and I've got a few other photos that include my living room, a summer day with fog rolling in off the lake, and some sunlight coming through the trees at the Art Institute. To see more of what I'm sharing with my students on Visify, you can view my profile at visify.com slash dstanford. Of course, there are lots of other ways to share information like this with your students, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on what works best. In the meantime, have fun spicing up your teaching with a little technology.